Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app review for 10-pin shuffle bowling by Digital Smoke. This application is in the games category is iOS Universal, works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and of course the iPad. Currently sells for $3.99. There are several free or light versions you can download, check out before purchasing the full version. This 3D 3-in-1 physics bowling shuffleboard game has awesome graphics, authentic sounds, single and multiplayer game modes, and plays in a traditional brick pub environment. Here's the opening screen. The three game modes, there's two different bowling game modes, 10-pin shuffle and 10-pin poker. In 10-pin poker, we'll jump into it. There are a variety of game modes. Host peer-to-peer, -peer, obviously through Wi-Fi locally. You can play against yourself, one player, or play against the iPad. Cool thing here is they provided difficulty levels that you have to unlock by beating the previous AI. We'll go ahead and go after Ace, and then the way this works in 10-pin poker, you get two cards for a strike, you get one card for a spare, 10 frames with no extra shot on the 10th frame. You can slide your shuffleboard piece around, you can angle it up here if you're into that, and there's some special shooting instructions when you get into the help settings area that you can check out, some freaky special shooting ways with your hand. I don't know how to do that, so I'm not gonna do that to displease you. I'm gonna try to get a split here to get a card, because if I don't, I'm playing a harder opponent, and I didn't. I'm playing a harder opponent who's probably gonna get either a strike or a spare. In this case, he may not, because the splits are very hard to actually convert in this game which he does not. So we're still on the equal footing. You obviously want to get as many strikes or spares as you can because the more you'll get, obviously the more cards you'll get, the better hand you get, and the better hand that you get, um, the more likely you're going to win. Didn't convert that. That's a shame. It's just bad bowling. But again, my opponent's not doing the hottest, and this is the way the game goes all the way through until somebody actually gets a playing card. The physics are very well done in this game as far as the sensitivity to the actual uh, shuffleboard piece, the way you play it. In the shuffleboard game, it's a little bit more challenging as far as trying to get the scoring option there, and I'll show you that. So we'll give the opponent here one chance. I don't think he's going to convert this. Whoa. Kudos to him or her or it. Let's go ahead and tap here on the home. We'll go out of here. The regular bowling is the same except you play 10 frames and you can also get that extra shot in the 10th frame. We'll go for shuffleboard and I think that's the harder. You can see the game modes there. We'll go in player versus iPad. Again, difficulty levels can increase as you beat the computer and you can select the different points for games pretty easy to do. Same way to shoot. You can move side to side and also angle. In this game, you're trying to get your piece into the farthest one, two, and three area. Your opponent's piece, the farther it is in the one, if you get past it, you'll get that point, and you'll see what I'm talking about, hopefully. Maybe too hard. Just a little too hard, almost had the three, only got the three a couple times. It is not easy. It, again, very, very nicely and sensitive physics of these shuffleboard pieces. Now he's putting the screws to me, so I have to um, try to get past him in that one area. So not bad. When you get past them, you cancel them out. Now he's trying to knock me out which he did successfully. So I've got two left. I can still try to get ahead of him because that's the idea. And I'm also going to try to knock that one out. Oh, too bad. I was so close. That would have slowed me down just a bit. Didn't make it. This is probably the harder of the two games to play, obviously, the bowling or the shuffleboard. But you get quite a bit of gameplay. $3.99 is a little expensive for both the iPhone and iPad. I don't think that's it's turning off some iPhone users, obviously but it is doing rather well in the um, iPad iTunes App Store. If I make it past him, which I did, in this case I get the points, and that's because I went past him, and that's how you play. You take rounds now, so we'll start a new round, and that's the way the game plays. Nice game, nice pub environment, the brick, the, the nice board, great graphics. I recommend it. If you're into these type of games, I like it. Until next time, Crazy Mike saying see ya.